in this video, you're going to be learning about how you can use the power of three, six, and nine, the Tesla's hidden secrets, and do yourself a little challenge, which I'm doing as well. So feel free to join the challenge. It's called the three, six, nine challenge. And it's using the power of three, six, and nine, the infinite numbers, and using them to manifest whatever it is. This is gonna be a 21 day challenge. So if you're up for it, let me know. Let me know how it goes. So the key with three, six, and nine, they are infinite power, they are infinite source. They're, they do not are they are not part of the pattern and I was doing some studying of the three six and nine pattern the other day and these are the numbers so you've got obviously on a scale you've got one two three four five six seven eight nine these are the only single digit n numerical numbers numbers and the power of this is very weird because if you double one and you continue to double it. If you look at this, look, one doubled equals two, two doubled equals four, four doubled equals eight, eight doubled equals 16. Now taking it back to single digits is one plus six equals seven. So 16 doubled equals 32, or you can do seven doubled, which equals 14. One plus four equals five, three plus two equals five. Then if you go 32 double, that equals 64. Six plus four equals 10. 10 plus one equals zero. Now, no matter how many times you do this, the pattern is always one, two, four, eight, seven, five. One, two, four, eight, seven, five. No matter how many times you double it, no matter what number you get to, now numbers are infinite, right? Now you can agree there. There's no stopping number. There doesn't, it doesn't just get to 999 million, tiny, trillion, billion, gazillion, whatever it is, and then it just stops. It carries on, and there's always another number you can add to it. Now, on a calculator it wouldn't work, but logically, you could write out on this page, the whole way down it, and that still would be a number. I don't know how you would say it, personally, I'm no math genius. And as well, I'm no good at, I'm not really highly effective at maths. I did very okay in school at maths. I did, maybe a bit above average. But this stuff makes sense. I don't know why, but it makes sense. Now the power of one, two, four, eight, seven, five, is that is the infinite sign. So that proves that this is infinity. That, does, that will never end. No matter how many times you double a number, it will always reach there. Also, if you half a number, every time you half it, it will still always reach there when you add each number up. Quoting Tesla, he said, if you knew the magnificence of three, six, and nine, you will have the keys to the universe. Now, think of the universe and energy. Everything is energy, everything is frequency. I may look like a solid thing, but if you put it under a microscope and went deep enough, you went, you zoomed in enough, you would see that I am physically vibrating. Everything is vibrating. This is vibrating on a different level to my skin. This is vibrating on a different level to my hair. This is vibrating on a different level to my laptop. They're completely different. Even though they might have the same technology in them, they're completely different. Now, when you understand the power of three, six, and nine, and the power that this is infinite energy, this is how you create renewable, free, completely free energy, and this is still what's being figured out by many, many people today. And Nikola Tesla also said, if you want to find the keys to the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. So we are a vibration, we are energy, we emit a different type of frequency. Now every number, there's frequency numbers, there's, there's different um, hertz numbers, so for example 432 is what they say is the miracle tone or the, the connecting to nature tone, connecting to one, connecting to mother earth. There's so many different tones. So even in terms of high quality TV, high quality videos, phone screens, pixelations in the phones, in the screens, there's so many different qualities. Now we start with 144, then it goes to 240, then it goes to 360, then 480, then we got 720 and finally 1080. Now there is above that now, there's, I'm not sure the exact one, I believe it's 2, 240 or something along the lines, 2040, something along the lines of that. And again, if you divide, if you add these numbers up, you get, so for example, we go with 144. 1 plus 4 plus 4 equals 9. 2 plus 4 equals 6. 3 plus 6 equals 9. 4 plus 8 equals 12. 
1 plus 2 equals 3. 7 plus 2 equals 9. 1 plus 0 plus 8 plus 0, again, that equals 9. Now, this is not a coincidence. The fact that everything that is powerful, everything that is technological, technology, uh, phones, everything like that, always adds up to the power of 3, 6 or 9. Anything advanced as to 3, 6 or 9. You look at computer programming, 3, 6 and 9. They're always in there because it's the code. It's the code to energy. Now we are, again, we are made up of code. We are made up of energy. It's how you perceive it. It's how you dictate it. And you can change your coding. You can change who you are as a person. You can change your subconscious mind. Now if you look at some of the biggest companies out there. And you look at some of their logos. You look at some of their headquarters. Things like that, you can see the power that they already know. They already know the power of three, six, and nine. For example, if you look at Google, it looks like three nines in a circle. I'll put the picture up here. If triangles are what they say are one of the most powerful shapes. Every angle inside a shape, so for example, a square, uh, a hexagon, a pentagon, uh, a triangle, anything with lines, with angles, will always equal to the power of 9. So for example, if you go for a square, you've got 90, 90, 90, 90. So that equals 360, which is the degrees in a circle, the degrees in total. That, that adds it all up. Now, if you look at the power of 3 plus 6 plus 0, again, that's 9. Now, let's look at a triangle. So a triangle, you go 60, 60, 60. That's the degrees in a triangle on each angle. Add them up, what you get? You get 180. 1 plus 8 equals 9. Every time you look throughout nature, there's the golden ratio. There's, there's so many different things that add up to equal these powerful numbers. If you can understand these numbers, you can understand energy. If you can understand energy, you can understand yourself and you can change yourself. You can improve your life. Now, again, this is what I want to issue. I want to issue you a challenge. Keep thinking of these numbers, three, six, and nine. This is the challenge. This is what I'm doing for 21 days to see the results. I've seen people get amazing results with this and I'm trying it out for myself. So I'm not here to tell you, I know that this will change your life. I'm here to show you that I'm gonna try it myself, see how it changes my life. My opinion always is try it first, see what happens. If it doesn't work, that's perfectly fine. Find something else, let's get on with it. That's what I'm like in life. I will go for it until I see it working. If that one doesn't work, I'll find another avenue. If that one doesn't work, I'll find another avenue. And if we can understand this, if, we can, if I can use this for my power and help other people use it for their power as well, that's what I'm gonna do. So in the mornings, I'm writing down three of the affirmations that I want. In the afternoons, I'm writing down six of the affirmations that I want. And in the evening, I'm writing down nine of the affirmations that I want. Everything I think of, just like Tesla did, everything he thinks of, he was wondering if it was divisible by three. Again, I'm trying that for myself as well. Now, when I go to my locker at the gym, I'm looking for a locker that is divisible by three. Again, if it doesn't work, there's no problem at all. But if it does, what can it do for you? Always think, how could that change my life? What perspective could I get from that? Even when I'm meditating, and this is the weirdest sensation of all, and I've only been doing this for one day now, with this sensation. Now I've understood, that I've heard of this for a while, it's called Vortex Maths, but I've only, I only started to understand this yesterday. Out of nowhere, it sort of popped back into my mind. Again, I'm, get, I'm getting the feeling what I'm getting when I'm thinking of three, six, and nine, and it is just a whole tingling sensation. I don't know what it is. I can't really explain it other than a tingling sensation all over. And when I've been meditating, I've been th literally thinking three, six, and nine. Three, six, and nine. And for me, the energy is flowing up through me. It is flowing through my body out the top. Whereas anxiety, depression, the energy is flowing down. So I'm going against the anxiety. I'm going against the depression. I'm going against the negative feelings. I'm bringing it up out of my uh, crown chakra, straight out into energy. And this is the power that I'm going to be using, three, six, and nine. So issue yourself this challenge. I like to give myself challenges. I'm still doing my 30 day productivity challenge. I'm also giving myself a challenge where I can do three, six, and nine. It's very simple to incorporate into your life. And I feel like this can be a, a huge benefit into your life and can have huge dramatic changes into your life. So let me know how you get on with this challenge. I hope this video has given you some value. I hope you can gain something from this. And I want to hear your thoughts on 3, 6 and 9. I want to hear your manifestations on 3, 6 and 9. 
Have an amazing day. Keep smiling. Keep spreading positivity. Keep spreading love, kindness. You name it, you spread it. As long as it's positive. And have a great day.